Hi guys! Welcome to my class. If you are frequent watching my videos, please subscribe. Please like and share so that you can also help other students. Our topic for today is about kites. Before we proceed to our main lesson, I would like to give you some information regarding our UAE rulers. I would like to inspire you every day. You can see in the picture the support that was sent to Kenya by the UAE. The aid to India and to a lot of other countries. Sheikh Zayed's ability for being a generous giver was said to be so great that the Islamic anniversary of his death, Ramadan 19, was declared Zayed Humanitarian Day in the UAE. This is to inspire and encourage more charitable giving among future generations. That is why up to now, the UAE leaders were sending aids and support to other countries, not only during pandemics, but throughout the years, whoever needs it. Do you know that Sheikh Zayed established solid foundations for humanitarian actions? And today, it constitutes an approach for sustainable generosity and giving. In the picture is His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahayan. He is now the current President of the United Arab Emirates and he is the Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. He is also the Chairman of the Supreme Petroleum Council. Sheikh Khalifa succeeded his father, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. Do you know what? His heart, his mind, and his actions are exactly the same as Sheikh Zayed. Sheikh Zayed is a living legacy. That is why according to Sheikh Khalifa, he is following the approach of his father in offering development and humanitarian assistance which becomes the pillars of the UAE's foreign policy. Sheikh Zayed's name is always associated with generosity and giving. I do hope that you are inspired with the values that our UAE leaders imparted to us. Now let us move to our objective. We are going to recognize and apply the properties of kites. A kite is a quadrilateral with exactly two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. The opposite sides of the kite are not congruent or parallel. In Theorem 11.25, if a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals are perpendicular. I want you to look at the figure. If quadrilateral BEST is a kite, then the line segment BS is perpendicular to line segment ET. In Theorem 11.26, if a quadrilateral is a kite, then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. I want you to look at the figure again. So, if quadrilateral BEST is a kite, then line segment BS is congruent to line segment ES the two consecutive sides, and line segment BT is congruent to line segment ST. Then, the measure of angle B is congruent to the measure of angle S. I mark them with blue arc. But, the measure of angle E is not congruent to the measure of angle T. Let us work on this example. If LIFE is a kite, find the value of EF. In Theorem 11.25, the diagonals of the kite are perpendicular. We have four right angles at point S. And we have one triangle, which we can solve for the value of line segment EF. The two line segments have values, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So, EF square is equal to SF square plus SE square. Substituting the values in the Pythagorean theorem, it will give us 6 square plus 9 square. That is EF square. And it will give us 117. 
to find the value of line segment EF, we are going to get the square root of 117. And it will give us 3 square root of 13. Let us work on another example. If LIFE is a kite, find the measure of angle ILE. The two angles of the polygon is given here, and we have four sides. So we can use the polygon interior angle sum theorem, which is the number of side minus 2 times 180. So 4 minus 2 times 180 is equal to 360. That is the interior angle sum. Now we can add all the interior angle, which is equal to 160. Substituting the values in the given equation, it will give us the measure of angle L plus 135 plus the measure of angle F plus 55 is equal to 360. But LIFE is a kite. So the two opposite angle measures are congruent. Therefore, the measure of angle L is also equal to the measure of angle F. And to simplify the equation, the measure of angle F, which is equal to the measure of angle L, we are going to add it. Plus 190 is equal to 360. To eliminate 190 on the left side, we are going to subtract 190 on both sides. This will give us 2 measure of angle L is equal to 170. To find the measure of angle L, which is the same as the measure of angle F, we are going to divide the whole equation by 2. And it will give us 85 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle ILE is equal to 85 degrees. Now, let us try to solve this problem. If the measure of angle BOV is equal to 43 and the measure of angle BRV is equal to 76, find the measure of RVO. Let us put the given values in the diagram. So we have four sides here and we have two angles given. We can use again the polygon angle sum theorem. So the number of side minus 2 times 180. For minus 2 times 180, it will give us 360. Since the measure of angle B is also equal to the measure of angle V, we're just going to simplify the equation as 2 measure of angle B plus 76 plus 43 is equal to 360. To simplify, it will give us 2 measure of angle B plus 119 is equal to 360. To eliminate 119 on the left side, we are going to subtract 119 on both sides. And it will give us 2 measure of angle B is equal to 241. So the measure of angle V, which is also equivalent to the measure of angle RVO, is equal to 120.5 degrees. To wrap it up, remember, in Theorem 11.25, if a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals are perpendicular. So, line segment BS is perpendicular to line segment ET. And in Theorem 11.26, if a quadrilateral is a kite, then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. Therefore, line segment BE is congruent to line segment ES and line segment BT is congruent to line segment SP. Therefore, the measure of angle B is congruent to the measure of angle S. But the measure of angle E is not congruent to the measure of angle T. I will never stop reminding you what Sheikh Zayed wrote for us. Education is like a lantern which lights your way in a dark alley. Whenever you have confusion on some part of the lesson, I want you to go back. Light up your way. Watch it again, step by step, carefully, slowly, and I know you will get it. Math will always be easy for those who are studying. 
Everyone in this world have their own talents. I want you to discover your undefined smartness. Score high in math! Okay guys, good luck! God bless!